Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I've got a miner down, mining rig, and the fans on this card are dying. Now the card is, I just shut it off and took it out. The card is not hot. It was running at 56 degrees Celsius, but um, this fan, oh, this is the one. This one was making a lot of, can you see that? This one was making a lot of noise but working beautifully. This one had a lot of resistance, probably because it's also failing. So, yeah, look, it snags, it's, it's catching. This one was failing miserably. This one spins amazing, but it's making a lot of noise. I mean, that's, that's gone. So, I bought this from a miner for mining. I got it on discount, so I'm not stressed about it. Uh, I knew the fans were going out. That's why I got it cheap. So, um, this is something I was going to have to do regardless here pretty soon. And uh, I got a few days out of it. A few days, nothing major, but I got some time. So I'm going to try to put a replacement uh, 120 millimeter fans on here instead. I can find a, a bit that will fit. I hope that's magnetic. Is that going to be magnetic? Yes, it is. Good. So there's four screws to hold the shroud on. It's very simple. I hope I'm in the camera range because this camera always appears to be zoomed no matter what I do. It's a new camera I got recently. And over here, now I try not to touch the electronics myself. I try to be very careful when handling electronics. So there's the four screws, and the shroud should come off. Then I'll have the fan and LED wires to take off. There's the shroud free from the case, or from the frame. Now I've got the wires to remove here. I just can't get my fingers in there very well. Ah, that's a problem. Oh, there's a, I think there's a retaining. I need more light. I think, I can't quite see it. Looks like there's, no, should just slide out. I might have to get a screwdriver in there to remove them. I am not going to pull on the wires. So I might have to go get myself a flat tip screwdriver. There's three of these sockets. Yeah, they're in there. Good. Oh, wow. I'm going to rip my fingernails out trying to get them off. Alright, well, I'm going to get a screwdriver and carefully work it off. I'm going to be in the way of the camera. I'm going to let you watch the last one I do. I'm very, very carefully trying to pry this off with the edge of a screwdriver so I don't work my fingernails off. There, oh, that one popped right out of course while you're watching. Now, I could just go ahead and buy new fans, but I don't need these fans on here because I'm going to put 120 millimeter fans on this instead and then I can sell the shroud because uh, LED lights are really cool. And I think they look amazing. I love them myself, but I'm just going to mine with this and that sort of looks high tech anyway, doesn't it? That looks sort of cool. So I need to fit this for some fans. I think my fans are too big for... I'm going to see what it looks like. I got some high-flow 120 millimeter fans that I bought for this purpose and I'm going to see how I like it. I don't know if it might be overkill, it might be too big, I have to check which way they flow. Oh uh, yeah, this way. But. The problem with case fans is they're made to be silent. 
But it's definitely going to flow and cool everything. It's going to flow over the heat pipes, over the fins. It's, it's bigger than what I need. I guess we'll find out. The smaller fans, I've tried 80 millimeter fans which fit better, but they don't cool as well. You need the high flow on these things. So anyway, I'm going to get some clamps. I'm going to test this out a little bit. Let me come back, get back with some uh, wire zip ties. So first I want to zip tie the fans together so that they'll stay in place. What do we got going on here? A little bit of wobble. I guess it's just how that sits. Alright, so I'm going to zip tie these together. Now I've done this before. I've got some cards running with 80 millimeter fans. I've got a card with an 80 and a 120. Actually, it's got a lot of 80s and a 120. That's a hot, hot, hard card. It's a R9 card. It's a really hot running card. So I bought these fans for this purpose. It's their uh, 60, well, 57 point something or other CFM. I want high flow. I don't want silence. Although, unfortunately, the case fans are designed to be quieter. Now, I want to clear that card. I should be able... I want to make sure I'm not going to be in the way of anything on the bottom. Put these together. I just went ahead and put a riser on there so that I can see what I got going on. I believe I can hang down pretty far then. And I won't interfere with that riser at all. So that's fine. So now what I'm probably going to do is wrap around... Uh, I'm probably going to go around the heat pipe. Which is what I did with the R9. Now... There's no neat way to do it with these bigger fans, so I'm going to try to come through here and get enough pressure to keep that to hang, and I'm going to come around through here, I'm going to come around and angle through here, and see if I can keep that up higher, because on this specific card, on this card here, there's nothing to uh, secure it to. I'm going to leave the rear heat shield in place so gotta come through here and through here getting in there without getting in the way of the cameras a blast okay come on turn there we go whoops Oh, and then I, well, anyway, I'm going to do that off camera because I'm trying not to block my, your uh, view. I'll be right back. I decided I'm going to go around the whole thing as well right now with a zip tie. If you'll agree with me here. Could go around through the loops. I don't know if that one will fit. That one won't fit. As long as we don't hit the fan blades, we're good to go. And I'll put another pair here. 
like I said, I've never done it with the two 120s like this. I've used 80s, but they're not running cool enough for my liking. When you're mining, it's really, really intensive on your graphic card. And uh, I want my cards to run a lot cooler than they are and be safe. One thing about these cards in particular, though, they do have that big old massive heat sink on the back, which makes it convenient to th tie things down because it's a solid shield. You're not going to hurt anything as they don't get away in the way of my um, power right there. And it's a beast of a job here. It's a bunch of stuff on here, but. Now this one is that one I just put on top, see, right through the heat pipes. I don't know actually if these other ones are even necessary now, here, but I've got it in there now. Well, it broke off. Cheap, cheap things. I can't believe that broke. I cannot believe that broke off like that. Well, at least that one's on. I don't know how if I trust it now. seems to be on there solid I'm gonna trim the uh, ties off it well there's quite the setup guys We'll see if it works. This is a total experiment for me with these fans. I have no idea if these fans are going to work for me or not. It's an absolute test for me. So I'm going to put this card back into the computer, into the rig, and fire it up and see if we can start mining. Again with that. So I'll give you a look at it here. It's it's quite a contraption now, it's huge. So well take this back off. I uh set it up so at least I can have these on there. And it won't interfere. Well, let's get it up in there and see what happens. Uh, this is a three card rig. I love the uh, TB250 BTC motherboards for mining. There are just three cards in here. The reason is, and see that one's starting to slow down. Can you see that? That one's spinning slower. The reason I've only got three is these are uh, 470s. And I keep my cards um, separate, a, a grouped in related types. So there we have the big fan spinning. And I'm booting up into Windows. Now this is what it did look like. It says fan stop because the fans are stopped until it gets warming up. Until my uh, software kicks in. But I, I love that. But I'm probably selling all these. As the fans die out, I'll be selling the shrouds. Because the LEDs still work and you can put fans in them. So if somebody breaks one or needs them or whatever, they're pretty color changing. But anyway, this is my uh, 470 rig. Just three cards for now. I got more coming. Let me uh, log into Windows and get checking this out. Okay, my mining software is firing up. Um, GP GPU 2012. Oddly, the far out one is the hottest. The one in the middle that I just swapped out the uh, fans with is 51. The one right next to the window over here is going to be the coldest at 45 degrees Celsius. The one I just swapped out the fan on is 51. And the one over here is already 58. I might have to swap out its fans too here, but I first want to see how it goes. How well this works out. 
and uh, keep an eye on the heat. What am I mining? Oh, I'm mining the wrong coin here. This is why I'm supposed to be mining Ethereum. Well, I'm hitting shares like mad. But that's not the most profitable coin on here. All right, I've got to pick the right coin. I'll be right back. I didn't realize I didn't have that auto starting. All right, right now we're at 45. I got Ethereum going, and we're pulling 61 mega hash with three old 470s. So it's RX 470, four gig graphic cards pulling 61 mega hash. Um, on Ethereum Classic, Classic, Ethereum Classic. And I'm going to keep an eye on this the next few minutes here. We're hitting shares. And make sure it stays cool. It's 47 degrees. Let me see what's the other one sitting at. The one by the window, I'm looking over here on MSI Afterburner. The one by the window is 42 degrees. The one in the middle that I just put together is 46 degrees. You can also see it up here, but I don't know if you can see that with your uh, screen on this camera. And then the one here, that's the one closest to the uh, to me, is 57, which is hotter. So I'm, I'm probably going to do the switch over here pretty soon. There you can see better what I'm looking at. So the closest to the window right here is 43 degrees Celsius and then the one I just did is 47 and oddly the one farthest away is 57 it's the hottest running card um, so yeah, we will see I want to keep an eye on it here a little while I'm still sitting at 47 Celsius now it is uh, 67 degrees in here right now so it's not really hot and I don't know if it's 50 something outside and I'm sitting right next to a window which is open and I got a nice breeze coming in so there's the rig I've also got five of the same fans 520 millimeter uh, 57 58 CFM fans blowing into the cards so looks like it's gonna be alright the hottest one is this one on the end, which is really odd. And it's got a whole fan and a half blowing on it, just for itself. It's got this whole fan and a half of this one blowing on the one card. They're spaced out nicely, so it shouldn't be hot. Well, I'm going to let it run, and I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll see how it looks. Well, guys, 48 degrees Celsius. I think you can see that after about half an hour so not bad at all I'm probably gonna switch this other one out as well because it's running 60 its fans look to be running well but it's 60 degrees Celsius the one I just repaired is 48 49 the one by the window is 43 nice and cool and these were heavily hardcore used cars they were used for mining heavily and uh, they're serving me well. They're doing good. Well, there you go, guys. Got some 120 millimeter fans on some old graphic cards. Running them actually cooler than they were. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for more cool and exciting videos in electronics and cryptocurrency and alternate energies. Talk to you later.